Hi everybody, welcome to Leon's Chainsaw Parts and Repair. It's been a good weekend for getting things done. Uh, both of these saws are fresh repaints. Uh, I painted them, started them, geez, I think way back around Thanksgiving and then just got busy and needed to order decals, blah blah, you know how it goes. Anyway, the decals came in, got them slapped on and got everything clear coated. Uh, excuse me, during the week last week, so... It was time to put them together. Now here we got a C7. Pretty, uh, pretty clean saw overall when I've got it, other than just the missing paint. Do have a serial tag. I'm not, uh, not terribly happy with a few of the details that I kind of messed up on this one. The white paint ended up a little sloppier than I care for up there. And one spot was a little thin back here. One of the challenges I've got with painting outside is I seem to find holidays when I'm done that I can't see when I'm painting out here, so I'm gonna have to change something up. But the body was in pretty good shape. Had this nice 18 inch Oregon hard nose that would have been appropriate for this thing, so I'll put that on there with a fresh chain. Again, the paint, the clear coat is still a little too green. I don't want to uh, risk putting fuel in it and firing it up yet, but uh, that will happen eventually. And then just your old run-of-the-mill 360. Uh, what I had originally intended to do was paint up uh, a bunch of body parts and sell them as a kit to somebody who wanted to, uh, you know, make their saw look like new again and. I ended up with so much time in it, I thought, well, what the hell, I'm just going to put together a running saw because I used a few pieces off of an old one I had. So, again, there's nothing is perfect. This is no exception. There's a few uh, little assembly oopsies that happened. But uh, all in all, not bad. If somebody wanted to source a, a, a NOS uh, throttle handle cover there, it would probably fit this saw a little bit better in terms of the appearance, but I kind of intended as I put this one together for this to be a, uh, a firewood saw that somebody would run. Running uh, some of my saws that I've repainted out there at TJ's last weekend, uh, realized that the clear coat is actually pretty durable. I mean, you can scratch it. There's no question about that. But I don't think it scratches any easier than uh, the factory finish would. So, in theory, a person could restore one of these saws like this, take it out, run it as a firewood saw, and if you were careful with it, it would stay looking nice for quite a few years. So, anyway, that is some of what I've been working on this weekend.